Hello and welcome to a walkthrough of a very special piano library called Piano Colors. I'm Uli from Galaxy Instruments. Why Piano Colors? Imagine yourself an artist in front of a white canvas looking for new colors to create your next artwork, looking for inspiration, new motives or unique ideas. Piano Colors is made to help you paint your musical artwork. It delivers a world of tonal colors, musical ideas and visionary sounds. These sounds arise through bringing together the very special recordings of a grand piano with our unique tonal and musical modules. It's these modules that then take the samples to another musical level. Let's first take a look at those special recordings featured in Piano Colors. The piano is a playing field of ever new playing techniques, preparations, mistreatment or any kind of stimulation to get something new out of it. The strings can be triggered in many different ways. Plucked with your fingers, felt or wood picks. Beaten with mallets, sticks, rods or metal objects. Bowed with nylon threads or magnetically with ebos. Strummed or beaten with all kinds of brushes. The strings can be musically played like a tremolo of La Jolie. They can be prepared with all kinds of metal or plastic screws, with bits of rubber or clothes pins, creating a whole new world of overtones. And besides being a direct tonal source, the strings together with the piano's resonating body create sympathetic string resonance, adding a huge harmonic spectrum. Now that's the content, the recordings, the samples. However, it is the modules or the musical engines which take those sound sources and transform them into creative musical tools. Let's reach into that musical paint box. This is what you see and hear after opening the instrument. Looking at this main page, the most obvious elements are those light columns behind the piano. Each one of those columns visualizes a sound module, which you can see at the bottom of this page. And the column's width shows the volume of each module. There are two sound layers in the middle, of which in this snapshot just one is in use with the preset Butter Soft. So the red light of the second layer is off as the second layer is off. But I can load an additional layer preset via the layer browser, accessible from all pages. To the left there is a module called Noises, which features all kinds of typical piano noises from pedal to mechanical to pianist noises. To the right there is the Particles Engine. In case you know our library Noir, you also know the Particles Engine, which has been significantly extended for piano colors though. It's kind of an aleatoric motion and groove engine and a great companion of the arpeggiator on the very left, which can serve both the layers and the noises for achieving rhythm, flow or movement. Above all this sits enthroned the expression knob, the modulation center, which grabs into the engines of piano colors like the arms of an octopus. Almost any control is linkable to the expression knob, which makes it a very impactful real-time tool. Now the teamwork of the modules working hand-in-hand -hand with the expression knob and its modulations can fulfill very different tasks and create very different musical results, which I'd like to show you in the upcoming music track. The basic musical theme is played with mainly felt mallets, followed by a few single notes of a fragile pad and some almost synth-like notes from a snapshot called Shooting Stars. And a sustained preset called Feedback Overdrive closes the first part. Now in the second part, three elements get the track going. The shooting stars from the first part are now played as a sequence by the arpeggiator and particles, supported by an additional piano bass and a hacked boat piano. The basic felt mallet sound still plays the main theme, and the feedback overdrive finishes the track. Let's have a look at the ingredients of this musical piece. The main theme is played with a pretty basic preset called Felt Mallets. Now the sound gets brighter, deeper, more intense when turning the expression knob. That's for a couple of reasons. 
We have two layers. One is played with felt mallets, the other one is actually based on a toilet brush striking the strings, a very sparkly sound. And as its volume is being raised with the expression knob, the whole sound brightens up. This is supported on the tone page, as both layers' color knobs move with the expression knob. And on the effects page, an air EQ and saturation are modulated as well, adding presence and a little roughness. Those all together create the timbre and intensity change of the expression knob. Now, even in its max position, this sound is still almost fragile, but also deep. This is enhanced by the pedal down or sympathetic string resonance, freely adjustable on the tone page. By itself, it sounds like this. And it adds tonal depth and harmonic richness to the basic sound. As you see, the task of the modules in this specific snapshot is about timbre and richness of the basic piano sound, and about realism, which is supported by the noises module that makes the instrument kind of tangible and places you in front of it. Now let's have a closer look at the feedback overdrive sound being introduced in the middle of the song. As you see, just the two layers are in charge. At the top of their tone pages you can see the sound sources, the recordings these layers are based on. Let me switch off the layer effects so we hear the pure sound. It's e piano in both cases, but they are recorded differently in a soft way, resulting in a pretty steady, sometimes even sign-like tone of the Ebo Smooth. And while moving an additional magnet next to the Ebo, which creates a lot of overtones or partials, so we call that sound Ebo Partials. And now we can modulate from one into the other. Using the rich, evolving character of those samples for a real-time tonal and dynamic modulation is what we call organic modulation, simply taking advantage of what's naturally in the recordings. Thereafter, a module can take the sound to another level. On the effect pages, we additionally inserted a tube and a hot drive on those two e sounds, which leads to the feedback overdrive with screaming overtones. So, the tasks for the modules in this snapshot are real-time organic modulation and sound design. Now for the second part of the song, mainly two snapshots get the track going. The first one, called Shooting Stars, already showed up in the first part with a few sparse notes. Besides a pad preset based on string resonance, it particularly features the sound source Pumped. We took the soft notes of a felt grand and compressed them to hell, which creates a smooth synth-like attack and especially overemphasizes the rich overtones. Now for the second part of the song, these pumped sounds are transformed into an aleatoric pattern by the brothers in spirit, the arpeggiator and particles. Compared to Noir, the Particles engine got significantly enhanced and extended with way more source samples, additional features, and modulation capabilities. Even the actual algorithm is modulatable, as its central parameters are now accessible. That's real-time control over a very unique and powerful sound engine. Now to the body of Particles, the arpeggiator, which sets its accents on top of the rhythmical bed that Particles provided. The ARP is built around a flexible step sequencer, which provides individual modes for each step, like single notes, repetitions, chords and inversions, or various random modes, easily assignable by drag and drop. Besides a diverse range of musical controls, probably the biggest benefit of the arpeggiator is its modulation capability, which in this preset refers to the length and the upper velocity range of the steps. Now, the dynamic effect of all those modulations can be kind of multiplied. We click on this wave icon next to the expression knob opens a window for modulating the modulator. The modulation source can be an LFO, but for this snapshot it's the velocity which determines the position of the expression knob. I switch it on, set the range with the emerging mod icon, no smoothing and a fast pullback, and play. You get a dynamic accentuation of everything being modulated within this snapshot, including the arpeggiator itself. 
Now this pumped pattern is being accomplished by an almost synth-like rhythmical sustained sound, a hacked pad. This brings us finally to another module called the motion engine, which is part of the layers. Its motion sources can be different LFO or step sequencer presets. In this case, a rhythmical syncopated groove is routed to the volume and to a simple filter effect. The sound of this rhythm is continuously evolving as the basic samples are changing their timbre and their spectrum just naturally all the time. Another example for organic modulation, which is the main task of the modules of the second part of the music piece. Creating naturally evolving grooves by using the particles engine, the arpeggiator and motion. I'd like to end with playing you this music piece with some visual impressions of piano colors. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.